Hey guys, welcome to Toy Chat. This is Max. And Sang. And we're reviewing something special on our channel today. This is the Glitter Girls Sweet Shop playset. And this playset is getting a lot of attention on Instagram in our doll photography community. And that is mainly because this playset is super detailed. It's gorgeous. It's a lovely, realistic candy shop. And it's a perfect fit for 12 to 14 inch dolls, which if you've been following us for a long time, uh, you know that makes up almost the entire spectrum of like most of the dolls that we collect and review on this channel. If you're into Integra Toys or Barbie, um, this is like a perfect size for them. Yeah, it works really well for those two brands, for Monster High, Ever After High. Um, I think some of even the newer brands like Boxy Girls and Snapstar, these would work really well mm -hmm. for as well. And we're definitely going to show you guys a uh, size comparison. So you can mm -hmm. decide if you want this playset or not, see if the dolls you collect will be an appropriate size for. Yes, so starting right off the bat, um, we're not going to get too deep into the Glitter Girls brand because we don't know a ton about it. Um, the main thing that we do know is that it is they are developed by the company, the parent company, Batat. Batat? Batat, B-A-T-T-A-T. -T -A -T. Um, but yeah, that company produces some other very well-known dolls that you might have seen on the shelves, such as Our Generation, Lori, and the Little Woodsies minifigures. I see those a lot at Target. I mean, yeah, Target, like, uh, Generation Girls have their, their own aisle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so those must be doing very well. Um, and Glitter Girls, by the way, uh, we don't have any Glitter Girls dolls on today's video. Um, they're not so much our taste. They're very similar to American Girl. Um, you know, they're kind of what I consider, quote unquote, the baby dolls. Like, you know, they're very realistic. Um, they have very childlike faces. Um, they aren't really our taste. Um, but what's kind of interesting about those as well is the way they fit into this playset. Um, I'll post a picture here because I took a picture when I was in store. Their heads go over the top <laughs> of the, like, the background a little bit. Um, so it almost seems like the 12 inch dolls because uh, based on my research, Glitter Girls are 14 inch dolls. Um, it almost seems like the 12 inch dolls are a little bit of a better fit, but that might just be, you know, the aesthetic they were going for. Um, so I found this set at Target and it is priced at $99.99. It is a hundred bucks USD. So it's a bit pricey, but you will come to see it's a very lovely, very detailed playset. I'm super excited to take pictures with this. Um, and I will also it share- It takes up a lot of real estate too. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> make sure you have room. Yeah. Um, also, I will be sharing with you guys in case you're looking for it because this was really, really hard to track down. I was looking for it for weeks, maybe even, I don't even remember when I started looking for it. It was like a while ago. Um, but Target doesn't stock a lot of these, right? No, it seems like they get one per box in terms of like the Glitter Girls display. So by the way, I went, when I did find this, um, the Glitter Girls had their own little section and most of our Targets nearby, like they don't even have any Glitter Girls merchandise. Um, but the, when I found it, all the Glitter Girl stuff was there and then they only had one of this playset, So it was just, just that one. Um, and <clears throat> I will share with you guys the UPC and the DPCI number in the description below if you want to try to search for it yourselves. So happy hunting on that. So um, we are gonna go ahead and get started unboxing this and showing you guys all the details inside. All right, so opening up our Glitter Girl Sweet Shop, this is the first section of goodies that we have to get into. Um, and one of the most exciting things about this playset is the fact that the candies you guys are seeing, um, they are actually to scale real, you know, little candies that you can actually take out and have your doll hold. So first up we have a cute little bucket of lollipops. Super adorable, pink and white. And as you can see, we have some more lollipops up here. They're cute little star-shaped ones, and there's also spherical ones in the back. Many different colors. There's orange, green, purple, and there is also a very cute little tray of, they kind of look like macaroons. Not macarons, but macaroons. And there are also adorable little wafer sandwiches beneath that cute little tray for those. 
and we have an adorable little garden gnome fella right here and you pop off his head and inside there are super cute there are super cute little gumdrops Aww, so it's very adorable yeah super tiny and they come in many colors so next up we have a cute little tray with a nice glitter compound on top and these look like little chocolates little chocolate wafers you know definitely look you know there's like white chocolate and there's like i don't know what these colored ones are supposed to be but yeah there's like a pink strawberry. one maybe strawberry chocolate strawberry yeah. and then there's the blue one that's blueberry yeah yeah that could be and it has the gg glitter girls insignia on the back so this is one of the only things in the playset that's all molded together. It's a single piece, and I'm not super clear on what it's supposed to be. I don't know if it's just jelly beans, but if they're jelly beans, I'm not really clear on why they're all one color. So I don't know, but there is that. <laughs> so for our next shelf, we have a very cute little, you know, light pink container. And inside there are, I forget what these are called. They're like, um, God, what are they called? It, it's a very like classic, traditional candy, but I honestly- They're almost like licorice, kind of like yeah, texture. Yeah, but I've, I've seen these before. You know, if you're a fan of like classic retro candy, let us know in the comments what these are called, but they're super cute. And right here, it looks like there's cute little gumballs in here. Yeah, just little tiny spheres. And again, these are real, little pieces, pieces yeah. you can take them out and they will fall all over the place so be careful and these are super cute we have some pixie sticks very very adorable and a yellow almost looks like this could double as a cute little like milkshake mug too and I love these so much so this is a little gummy bears container and the gummy bears are so cute you Look at these gummy bears. Oh my goodness. They're Aww, super tiny, so but they are adorable. I love them. Yeah, so itty bitty little gummy bears for your dolls. Okay, and on our bottom shelf, we have like straws. It's kind of like, yeah, kind of like little, these are kind of like little candy straws or candy canes. You know, they're striped very Or cute. they could just be straws. Yeah, and they pop right out. Yeah, that's true. You could probably put these inside. Um, like the drink. The pixie stick container and it would kind of look like a milkshake. Yeah, very cute. Right here we have a little blue container of marshmallows. Cute little marshmallow goodness right there. Perfect little prop for Valentine's Day. We have a glittery little candy jar full of candy hearts. So cute. They don't say anything on them. They're just little pink hearts, but they are adorable. And last but not least, this is gorgeous. There is a bronze lid with a unicorn on the top of it. So cute. And inside there are blue and pink sandwich cookies has the gg logo on either side and there are actually two types of cookies in this cookie jar there's also one with a little glittery white heart on one side and the gg logo on the other side and the jar itself says cookies so you've also got a little display of plates Plates are super cute, so you can serve the candy if you want to be fancy about it. And I love this so much, you guys. So there is an adorable little cupcake display. One thing I'm a little confused about is the fact that there are four open spaces in these shelves total for the cupcakes, but there are only three for each shelf, but the cupcakes themselves are so cute. They're very detailed. Yeah. I love like the, like the sugar frosting on top. Yeah, there's like a sparkly, yeah, the super cute little cupcakes, detailed frosting. So there's a light pink frosting one, and there is also a darker magenta pink frosting. And we also have a little candy scoop right here, which by the way, there are two candy scoops total in this playset. And right here we have some cute little jelly gummy candies. I think there's a proper name for 
these sweets as well, but I don't totally recall what they're called. Um, and they come in this cute little pink bucket. So in this glittery purple display, we have some adorable candy apples. Way too cute. Love those. So these I feel like would be cool and useful props for multiple occasions. I feel like you could even use these for like a grocery store backdrop or anything like that. You know, it's like your doll is shopping and you can open it and put real stuff inside. There is a yellow one and a pink one in the playset. So we also have a little candy scale and what's really cute is when you press down on it, it will actually weigh your merchandise. Super cute. The cash register in this playset is pretty cool too. There's a little bit of glitter in the top. Um, you can't actually, oh you can press the green and red buttons, you can press. When you push in the till, you press the red button and it pops out. And what's really awesome, there's actually gold coins in there you guys. They are so cute. So there is also a large gumball machine with dark pink gumballs inside. You can twist um, the little crank, but nothing happens, it, you know, stuff doesn't come out. And to our knowledge, based on what we experimented with, you can't remove this, and I don't know if I'd want to. I think they'd spill everywhere anyway, but very nice realistic touch to just set in the background. So right here you have a very cute little seating area so the dolls can sit down, um, and there is a cute little white cushion with like, you know, little sprinkle candy design on it. And as you can see, you know, there's like a little glittery window here. It's candy striped on the walls themselves. Very, very classic candy shop vibes. Sure. So on the exterior of the shop, you got this, uh, again, this windowsill on the side. And on here, you gotta also have a windowsill planter with some ice plants in them. And this lovely looking chalk board that says enjoy this sweet moment. That one's really cute. Very cute. Yeah. And you got this really glittery um, barber's pole. It's a kind of weird term for it, but that's what they're called apparently. Um, but this, this one it has the logo GG on it. So on the very top, as you guys saw when we first opened this, there is a very large rainbow display that says GG Sweet Shop. You have to just plug it in, install it yourself. And what's really cute is you just press a little button on the side and it lights up. We're gonna dim the light a little bit so you so can you see can it. you can see it. Cute. Yes. Make it even darker. Ooh. Aww, so cute. That's adorable. And right over here, there is a cute little flamingo head popping out of a little frame. Kind of random, <laughs> but it's cute. These are the instructions for to install the, um, yeah. the signs. Yeah. Yep, so little set of instructions. These are the only instructions you get. Really the only you need for this playset. All right, so we wanted to show you guys some of these uh, you know, 10 to 12 inch dolls and smaller how they look like in this playset. I think they are, are a, the perfect size. I think Barbie and Monster High and Ever After High make perfect use of this playset. I think the very like, colorfulness of the playset really matched well with the design of like the Monster High dolls. Yeah, for sure. Um, the Misaki dolls and Integrity Toys are also a perfect size as well. I know a lot of like the Poppy fans are using um, this playset in their photos. Yeah. One thing you will notice is some of the sweets in this playset um, are a little bit novelty sized in comparison to some of these dolls. So like the lollipops in particular might look slightly um, oversized to the 12 inch dolls, but I think that actually works out in a lot of ways because of course there are a lot of candy shops that sell really large lollipops. So it's still super cute and I think this is a excellent and really adorable backdrop for dolls of this size. Yeah, if you are interested in something that will hold your dolls or be able to uh, use a playset that to take pictures, I think this, this is a perfect set for you. I mean, the price is a little on the high side, but a lot of like detail went to it, so I really appreciate that. And things light up, and that's really cool. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I think I think it's a, it's a very cute set. I, I really, I actually, it exceeded my expectations. Right, yeah. 
Yeah, I'm really impressed with it. Um, I think really there's no negatives I can think of aside from the price point. Um, I know $100 is kind of a lot, um, but I, I honestly think you get what you pay for. I think there's so much detail in this set and um, you know, we kind of mentioned earlier, like I, you don't really see that very often, like a playset that actually has real little pieces that, you know, can be made um, so um, versatile. You can have your dolls hold them and, um, you know, this is really, I feel like, a photography-based set. Um, you know, because so often when we see little props and details and play sets, they're all just molded, they're all one piece, there's not a lot you can do with them. Um, I will say this is recommended not for children under three years. I would maybe go as far as to say like if your child is under the age of five, like... I mean, you, you can expect them not to put them in your mouth, their mouths, but yeah, they're just, I mean, there's a lot of small pieces that they might yeah, lose. But I think for slightly older and mature kids and for adult collectors who want to take really nice pictures for sure, um, I would highly recommend this if you're able to track it down and you've got the funds because it is lovely and Well, there's, I mean, there's a couple cons. They're not really bad. I think it's just a matter of um, preference. But um, since this set does not come in like a box, you don't have to really set it up too much. Um, there are a lot of scuff marks and dents that can be a result of the fact that it's been on the shelf for quite a while. Mm -hmm. uh, Max found a pretty nice one, but there are some like, scuff marks on the flooring as well as on the wallpaper. Also, since there's so many small pieces, it was covered in plastic. Um, so it takes some opening it was an ordeal <laughs> yes but you know I, I mean it's small little things but overall it's it's a great product I think yeah for sure so thank you for joining us for our unboxing and review of the glitter girls sweet shop there will be many more pictures of this I'm sure on my Instagram at excellence so make sure to check that out let us know what you think of this playset in the comments below. Are you planning on buying it for yourself? Um, are you interested in the Glitter Girls dolls? Do you just want this playset for your other dolls? Um, hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't. Let us know what you'd like to see us review next, and we will see you next time. Bye! Bye.